Assets or Liabilities – The Impact on Relationships and Fostering Healthier Connections Welcome back to Information for Life – Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. Today we embark on a journey through the treacherous terrain of a subject that weighs heavily on our hearts, the peril of deeming people as assets or liabilities, especially in the realm of relationships. In this episode, we'll unearth the origins of this ideology, confront the challenges it poses, and seek solace in alternative perspectives that promise healthier, more profound connections. Let us first decipher the enigma of assets and liabilities in relation to our fellow human beings. An asset, often deemed a prized possession, stands as a valuable resource, while a liability lurks in the shadows as a burden, draining value. The harrowing practice of categorizing people as either assets or liabilities has taken root in various sources, such as the ancient dance of evolutionary psychology and the cold calculations of economics. In the world of evolutionary psychology, this mindset echoes from the depths of our ancestors' struggle for survival and reproduction. Bus, 2015. They assessed potential partners based on their prowess in providing resources, protection, and healthy offspring. Leaping into the modern era, we still witness the lingering traces of this mentality in our society's fixation on attractiveness, social standing, and financial fortitude. Bus and Schmidt, 2011. In the realm of economics, this viewpoint connects to the commodification of relationships, wherein people are regarded as resources to be managed and optimized. Illuse, 2012. This mindset spreads its tentacles primarily in the world of business, where employees are frequently gauged based on their productivity and capacity to yield revenue. Pfeffer, 2010. Let us delve into the heart of darkness and examine the consequences of labeling people as assets or liabilities. Dehumanization. Imposing value or utility on an individual reduces them to mere objects, stripping them of their humanity and uniqueness. Haslam, 2006. This dehumanization results in an erosion of empathy and understanding, leading to a dismissive attitude towards their needs and emotions. Grunfeld et al., 2008. Unhealthy Relationships Through the twisted lens of assets or liabilities, we become more prone to forging relationships on superficial grounds or hidden motives. Finkel et al., 2014. This mindset breeds imbalanced, exploitative dynamics and stifles the birth of authentic connections. Race et al., 2004. Diminished self-worth. By labeling ourselves as assets or liabilities, we measure our worth through external factors. For example, appearance, income, accomplishments, rather than our innate qualities. Brown, 2010. This judgment breeds feelings of inadequacy, insecurity, and an unrelenting thirst for validation. Orth et al., 2008. Myopic thinking. Concentrating on immediate gains or losses can result in short-sighted decision-making and forsaken opportunities for growth and development. Lowenstein et al., 2001. This mindset manifests as a reluctance to invest in relationships without instant gratification or a propensity to discard those deemed unproductive. So where do we find redemption? How can we transform our perspective and nurture healthier relationships? Acknowledge the intricacy of human beings. Recognize the multifaceted nature of people, transcending the limitations of a single dimension. Baumeister and Leary, 1995. Focus on understanding and cherishing the unique fusion of qualities, experiences, and perspectives each individual embodies. Foster empathy and compassion. Instead of perceiving others as mere instruments for personal gain, endeavor to connect on a deeper human level. Rees, 2013. Engage in active listening, convey genuine interest in their lives, and approach interactions with a mindset of curiosity and openness. Rogers, 1980. Hone self-awareness and self-compassion. By comprehending our emotions, needs, and values, we can better traverse relationships without succumbing to self-objectification or viewing others as assets or liabilities. Neff, 2011. Practice self-compassion by acknowledging your imperfections and embracing your inherent worth, separate from external achievements or attributes. Neff and Germer, 2018. Emphasize reciprocity and mutual growth. Healthy relationships are forged on the anvil of mutual respect, support, and shared aspirations. Gottman and Silver, 1999. Strive for equilibrium in your relationships, ensuring both parties contribute and benefit from the connection. This balance may involve setting boundaries, communicating needs, and collaborating to surmount challenges. Cultivate a growth mindset. Welcome the notion that individuals can evolve and grow both independently and within relationships, 
Dweck, 2006, be receptive to the idea that relationships can transform over time and that learning, growing, and developing together is achievable. It is important to remember that perceiving people as assets or liabilities is a detrimental and restrictive perspective that can lead to dehumanization, unhealthy relationships, diminished self-worth, and myopic thinking. By acknowledging the intricacy of human beings, fostering empathy and compassion, honing self-awareness and self-compassion, emphasizing reciprocity and mutual growth, and adopting a growth mindset, we can nurture healthier, more fulfilling connections and contribute to a more empathetic, understanding world. Thank you for accompanying us on this thought-provoking voyage of information for life, insights and ideas to navigate your world. We hope it has imparted valuable wisdom and ideas to help you approach your relationships with greater understanding and empathy. Remember to subscribe to our podcast and stay tuned for more episodes delving into diverse topics to enrich your life. This episode traversed the dangers and limitations of viewing people as assets or liabilities, particularly within relationships. By recognizing the complexity of human beings, cultivating empathy and compassion, developing self-awareness and self-compassion, focusing on reciprocity and mutual growth, and adopting a growth mindset, we can nurture healthier, more fulfilling connections and contribute to a more compassionate, understanding world. Remember that relationships are dynamic and multifaceted, and reducing people to simplistic categories denies them the richness and depth they deserve. As we continue to chart our course in this world, let's strive to approach our relationships with curiosity, openness, and a deep reverence for the unique qualities each individual brings to our lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and be sure to subscribe to Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World for more thought-provoking episodes.